Yeah, I I, uh, I didn't plan to take today off, but it worked out that way, man. We we started so fast out of the gun there, you know, and I think you saw everyone who was in the break the first few days was hanging on by a thread. A couple guys got dropped, um, and then I had a teammate in the break today, so it gave me a chance to rest the legs a bit um, and look into some stages ahead that have uh, a good chance for breakaways. So are you the, the, the go-to guy for the, the move there? Or the uh, I won't say I'm the go-to guy, but you know, I mean, it, it's super hilly, um, and I, you know, I came here really well prepared, and I spent a lot of time working on my climbing and getting the weight down a bit. So it's just you know a culmination of that, and um, you know, I do well at altitude. So all those things come together, and just a good card for us to play, and uh, you know, put some pressure on the other teams late in the stage that way. Altitude seems to be taking a pretty big toll this year. Do you see? Yeah, it's a man. It's a huge toll. I was thinking about that. You know, it's we're three days in, and this morning. I lost track of the number of guys who were asking for new legs at the breakfast table. Just, you know, you don't see that kind of fatigue normally this early in a stage race, so it's definitely been taxing. Uh, the rest of the week looks, you know, pretty good. It's, uh, we, we did an independent pass today. We do it again tomorrow, so it's all downhill from there, uh, from 12,000 feet to 5,000 in Denver. But, uh, you know, there's a lot of climbs in between. The time trial in Breckenridge is going to be super important for the GC. Um, and it's it's gonna be interesting. That's a technical time trial, um, and then we're looking Saturday and Sunday both good chances for sprints. And we got Lucas Hayato for those, and we'll look to bring him for the sprints. Yeah, you know it's it's really unfortunate that Ben wasn't here. He had his bad crash in California. He recovered from that, and then some some medical stuff has come up in the last month or so that's kind of lingering there, and he's trying to push through that. But you know I've learned so much from him on the team. He's been you know a huge influence, as have guys like Matt Cook. Um, and some former teammates, Acevedo as well, you know, just they have they have so much experience and they still come around and they tell us what we can do better and and what to do and how to, you know, be more professional in that sense. And so being able to leverage those lessons learned is paying off big now.